In this video, we are going to learn about grep. Grep is a Linux tool that is used for searching through text files or command output using specific patterns. For installing this tool, simply type sudo apt install grep and your Linux packet manager will install it for you. Let us see the basic syntax of the grep command. Here you can see the basic syntax of the grep command. I have a file named fruits.txt which contains the following lines of text. Now if we go with the simplest case and want to search for the word mango, we will use this command. Here I first typed grep which is the grep command. The second argument is the word I want to search for and finally I have my file name which is fruits.txt. Now you can see that it has found the line which contains the word mango. But in this command, the first letter of the word I am searching for is capitalized. To ignore the case sensitivity of letters, we use the I flag. So our command will look something like this. Now you can see that it has found all occurrences of the word, ignoring the case of letters. Similarly, if we want to search for a specific pattern in all the files in a directory recursively, we will use the R flag. Then our command will look something like this. I am using both the R and I flags to search for the word mango in all directories recursively, ignoring the case of letters. Similarly, for searching for more than one word, our syntax will look something like this. Now you can see that it has searched for both mango and banana in fruits.txt, but what if we want to count the number of lines in the fruits.txt file that contain the word mango? Then we will use the C flag. This will search all the lines for the word mango, and print the number of lines that contain the word. Now if we use the V flag, it will search all the lines and print the lines other than the line containing the searched word. Similarly, the L flag will search all the files for a specific pattern in given directories and print the name of the file that contains the specific pattern. By default, grep matches the given string or pattern even if it's found as a substring within a file. The W option to grep makes it match only whole words, after using the W flag, our command will look and work like this. grep displays the entire line that contains the matched string. We can make grep display only the matched string by using the O option. To show the line number of the file with the matched line, we use the N option. This gives us the following output, where you can see that our line number is printed along with the line containing the specific string. The caret regular expression pattern specifies the start of a line, this can be used in grep to match lines that start with the given string or pattern. Now, if we want to print the lines in which the word mango is only at the start of the line, then we can use the following command. Similarly, if you want to search for lines on which the specific word is at the end, then you can use a dollar sign at the end of the word you want to search for. Now we have the A option that prints the searched line and N lines after the result. B prints the searched line and N lines before the result, and C prints the searched line and N lines both after and before the result. Examples of using these flags can be seen here. When I use the A flag with a value of N equal to 2, which is written right after the tag, and searched for the word mango, you can see that it has printed exactly two lines after the searched line. When we use the B tag with a value of N equal to 2, it has printed the two lines before the searched line. The C option is a combination of both the A and B flags, so you can see that it has printed both the lines before and after our searched term. Now let's move on to some more advanced grep commands. These commands use regular expressions to search for specific patterns in text files. Regular expressions include special characters called meta-characters that have specific meanings. If you have a file with thousands of lines, and want to search for a line that starts only with alphanumeric characters, you can use the following command. Similarly, to search for lines that start only with alphabetical characters, you can use this command. Another useful meta character is punctuation, which helps you find lines that start with punctuation characters. Additionally, grep supports other meta characters like digit for digits and x digit for hexadecimal digits. All right, everyone, that's all we have for you today. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and don't forget to like it. And if you think I missed something, let me know in the comments section.